and welcome to another five minute video for the level three. In this session we're going to look at uh, just an overview of the pigmented coating systems and then in uh, subsequent videos we'll look in more detail at the uh, all of it. So overview. There are three groups of components that we put into a paper coating mix and they are the pigments so they're things like uh, chalk and clay, satin white, titanium dioxide, things that will fill in all the valleys of a, of a relatively rough piece of paper to make it nice and smooth. Binders, those are the glue that uh, hold all those pigment particles together and stick them onto the sheet of paper. And finally, there's the additives. The additives is a bit like seasoning in cooking additives. You only put them in, in small proportions compared to everywhere else, just like seasoning with salt, but it makes a whole world of a difference between an average coating and a good coating. So, what do we do? We combine all these raw materials, and the combining process really means, first of all, dispersing the pigments under a, a high shear environment, then we're mixing everything else in a lower shear environment and then finally we store it with some gentle stirring ready for the next step of the process. When we're ready to use it we apply it to the sheet so there are two uh, general types of application units there's what we call an LDTA which is a long dwell time applicator that means from the moment you put the coating on until the time where you take off the excess, there's a relatively long period. And there's a short dwell time applicator, which as you can guess, means from when you put it on, there's a very short time between where you take off the excess. So first of all, we apply coating to the base sheet, and the general rule is apply a lot more than you really need, and then meter off the excess. And there's probably about 10 or 12 different ways of metering off excess coating. We'll just talk about th three of them. We'll talk about the blade, the wire wire rod, and the air knife. So three ways of scraping off the excess coating. And then finally, once you've got the right amount of coating on your sheet, then you need to dry it. Because it's such a sort of sticky tacky material, we need to have non-contact methods of drying and the three non-contact methods of drying are infrared drying, and that can either be gas or electric, air flotation, or air impingement drying. Okay, so a quick summary of what we've talked about in this uh, short introduction to coatings. There are three groups of materials that we need to use in coatings, the pigments, the binders, the additives. First of all, we need to combine everything, then we need to apply the coating colour to the paper, then we need to remove all the excess because we always put more on than we really need, and finally we dry it. So that's the end of the introduction, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, please feel free to follow us on any of this social media.